What is up, Battlefielders? Aaron Sampson here. And Ryan Schubert. And this is the last map we're going to preview. Uh, we've done three other maps. Um, Silk Road, Goyling Peaks. Goyling. Hell if I'll ever be able to pronounce that. Uh, Altai Range, and this is now Dragon Pass on Rush. I think this is Dragon Pass. Dragoon. We're just going to call it Dragoon Pass. <laughs> Um, uh, here's again another map that seems very influenced by Bad Company 2 Vietnam map design. Yes. Uh, this one was a little bit more like maybe Kaosan Temple, um, but maybe mix that with a little bit of Vantage Point. Uh, a lot of rivers that you snake up here, a lot of choke points with bridges and things like that. Uh, made a flanking maneuver here with a helicopter and was playing with an Xbox One controller. Not was not playing vintage controls. So well, it, you know the the melee button has changed. Yeah, that's what you were missing. Yeah, I would. I I grenaded instead of melee. I mm -hmm. fully admit that. Um, you, but you're watching this on Xbox One. Xbox One, which gets this, uh, oh, which got uh, Second Assault. Uh, first. First, so it's sort of the second DLC for Xbox One players, but it's the first for everybody else. So this rush match went pretty good f to start off with, and then we got into a classic can't get past the second set of crates mm -hmm. scenario. But I'm excited to try a lot of different tactics on this map, particularly because there's two new pieces of equipment in China Rising. The one I'm most excited about, they're bringing back the combat UAV for the, but it's for the support class. It's not like interesting. It used to be a station in Bad Company, and now the support class just has it. Um, so I'm really intrigued by that. Here's a quick screenshot of what that looked like in the menu. Unfortunately, we didn't actually get a chance to play with it in this preview event, but we will definitely bring that to you once China Rising drops. So the second set of crates on this, uh, it's real tough because if you have armor, you have to get your armor across that bridge over there, and there's a bunch of tow missiles on the other side. Here I was like, maybe it's shallow enough to drive a tank, mm -hmm. uh, you know, next to the bridge. It kind of looked like maybe those were ramps right there. So I gave it a shot. Turns out no. A little, little too deep. A little too deep for tank crossings. You also pointed out uh, before that uh, that uh, this is also a little bit reminiscent of Dragon Valley from Battlefield 2. Yeah, so the official description is that they reimagined Dragon Valley. I played a bunch of Dragon Valley actually in Battlefield Play for Free, mm -hmm. which I thought was um, pretty faithful recreations of Battlefield 2 maps. But I, I don't know. I would have to say a reimagining is a pretty uh, loose term. This this didn't really look a whole lot like Dragon Valley to me. It looked more like, you know, Bad Company 2 Vietnam. Right. And if you can see there, like, the level of destruction of Bad Company 2 Vietnam, where mm -hmm. there's a crate in a building, and the whole building just vaporized. Yeah, so, I'm liking that. Yeah. Uh, so I tried another tactic here, went up on the ridge line in the back and tried to do tank support for my team. There's actually three tow launchers, I think, right up front there. They might have to, I don't know. I'll have to play a bunch more matches on here. I found the tow launchers I to see, be... I count two right now. Yeah, then you'll see one firing off to the right there in a second. Because I took out the first two, and I took out the tank, and then I started taking fire from the right. It might have just been an engineer. Right. But again, this is one of those nasty choke points. And it, actually, there were maps in Bad Company 2 and Rush where I remember the second or third set of crates would have a really nasty choke point. Yeah. So this is where, if, if I had been smarter, I would have actually gone over to the new combat UAV. But I decided to mess around with the remote mortar tube, which I definitely think is a big improvement over the old mortar tube, where if you were using it, you would more often than not get counter-mortared or stabbed. Oh, man. All the time. But I was trying to buy my team a little bit of space. Didn't quite happen. And as you'll see, we got sort of shut down on this match. But I'm definitely looking forward to exploring this map more. You know, actually, to be honest, I kind of felt like the attacking team at this portion of the map should have had a uh, attack boat. Oh, that would make sense. So we'll see if they rebalance this one at all, um, or if you know teams come up with better strategies. I think this is always a good place to throw a lot of smoke out. Right. Teams that are losing, just everybody go over to smoke and just basically make it make it impossible for the enemy team to see where you're crossing. Smoke is pretty much vital to rush. Yeah. Uh, when the enemy team is doing well. 
Now, uh, I think I asked you this before, but, um, did you notice much in the way of Levolution on these new maps? Yeah, I didn't see a lot of Levolution on any of the maps or modes that we played in the China Rising Expansion Pack. Although, I, I didn't consider that to be a bad thing. I thought General Destruction was pretty good. Um, because of the foliage and the map design, I didn't feel like there needed to be a large event occurring. Um, I did not see Conquest on all these maps, so it's possible that there's something that happens. Right, there's, you know, more map to be seen. But, you know, you and I, and, you know, we've done pieces on this already. Laguna Presa. Yeah, there you go. There we go, finally. Good, good look up with, with the Googles. No, I did that with my brain. Uh. And my brain also provided screenshots. <laughs> and objective placement. But, I, I, you know, I didn't feel like these maps needed Levolution. Levolutions had very mixed results on the core maps. Right. And so I would rather them not have it on these maps and just have good map design good, and have good jungle map design than shoehorn it in. Right. So that was a look at Dragon Pass, a reimagining of Dragon Valley from Battlefield 2. Uh, be sure to check out all of our other coverage of China Rising, including our preview of Silk Road, Guilin Peaks, Goilin. Goilin. Goilin, and Altai Range. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you all out on the battlefield. Oh, yeah.